<laughs> that bass came and smoked it. Welcome back to another adventure. Super excited today because I brought the fly rod. This is my Bozeman fly rod. It's a five weight. It's, I have a six weight, but um, I didn't bring it today because I figured it'd be a lot more sunfish than bass just with my fly fishing skills or lack thereof. But look how beautiful that thing is. It's nine and a half feet long. And what I'm gonna start out with today is just a little streamer. I can't remember what the streamer's called, but that's what it looks like right there. It's really, really lightweight. But once it gets wet, it looks like a little minnow. <laughs> looks good. Now I do have some uh, top water stuff too. I probably should put that on first with this overcast. I didn't really think that through. So stick with me, stay tuned, and hopefully we hook into a big one. Man, I haven't fly fished in a minute. Let's see if we can track something. First I need to get that streamer wet. Now usually you'd want to use a sinking um, fly line with these streamers. But um, right now I'm just using my regular fly line. I did bring my other reel to uh, swap to that. And I, probably, I probably need to just go switch to a topwater bait. And it's going to take me a minute just to get used to fishing. Good gracious with the fly rod. I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> it's looking pretty ridiculous right now. I need to just stand here in the open and just kind of get my wits about me a little bit. Get some extra line out. And not hook my GoPro. Yeah, that'd be useful. Oh, he missed it. There, he missed it twice. There he is. I got him. Thanks a little bass, yeah. I don't know if that was the one making all that ruckus over there. <laughs> little guy. I'll take anything on this fly rod right, though. Yeah, a little uh, bass imitation streamer. It's green and uh, uh, white. Beautiful little fish on the streamer. Well, we'll have to get together sometime. Look me up on Facebook. What was your name? Dan Shock. Dan Shock. Okay. okay. And this is a. It's called a sushi rose. Pretty cool by Fish Pond. Kind of want to go to some top water. All right. Let's put the sushi roll up. Just rolls up like that, like a sushi roll. Pretty cool. I've signed up for a post fly for probably four months, and they send you these boxes each month. It's pretty cool. They got some cool stuff in here. Hopefully, we'll get bit on this baby. Oh, that bass came and smoked it. That was sweet. That was a nice bite there. That was cool. Little guy. Just smoked it. Came out of that uh, shady grass line over there. That's what I was aiming for. Thanks, bud. That was pretty sweet. Uh, I got my fly line on the GoPro. I got on this log here. Okay. I don't know how y'all do this all the time. I'm sure you uh, master it over time, you know. More practice, obviously, but dang uh, <laughs> Prefer a spinning rod. But it's very uh, rewarding when you do catch a fish, you know, on a fly rod. So that, you know, that's the thrill of it for sure. The addiction, I guess you would say, is pretty cool. This spot down here looks pretty good. Oh. I don't know if that's a, a green mossy stick in the water there or if that's a big bass. We're gonna find out though. Not sure what that is. I'm gonna try to. It kind of looks like a bass, but he's in the ripples. I can't. Oh, I think it just turned. Oh, that bass got it. Oh, there's a couple of them. There's a couple of them. <laughs> that was sweet. I saw that guy, but that's not the bass I was eyeballing. That was not the bass I was eyeballing there. Come here. 
right there in the roof of the mouth. At least I'm getting my hook sets practice here before I get to the bigger fish. Beautiful fish. All right, the popper's not getting done anymore. Had a lot of sunfish hit it, but not any smallmouth. But our cloud cover kind of left us, so that's probably the problem. Get the sushi roll out. I think I'm gonna go with the crawfish or a helgramite. Um, probably my best option. See, I got these uh, awesome looking uh, crawfish pattern right there. Looks too good not to throw. Fish on. Got him. Little bass on the craw pattern. Whoop, whoop. Fell victim to the crawfish. Yes. A little smolly. There we go. Fell victim to the green pumpkin and olive crawfish. It's a little pretty small man. Thanks, bud. This crawfish is a slow sinker. It takes uh, quite a bit of time for it to get down to the bottom, which is probably fine. This is why I uh, use a spinning rod. That right there. I don't have much space. I should be fly casting back and forth this way. But yeah, I might have lost that crawfish. It's way up there in that gum tree. Ugh. Hey, I think I got it. Oh yeah, we got it back. Fish on, another bass. <laughs> nice jump there, nice jump. Crawfish is putting in the work. Not the size I'm looking for. There's supposed to be some big ones in here. Little uh, fly rod flip. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that, but uh, it worked. I didn't break my rod tip, so. Man, that's so much fun. That crawl pattern is doing the dirty. It's a beautiful little smolly. Go get grown, boy. Got him. There's a bass. <laughs> They're all under. Well, that might be a sunfish. Yeah, never mind. Sunfish. Can't. They're coming out underneath these rocks here. It's the only shade they have on this side. It's a big. Sunfish, though. Not too shabby. Pretty thing. There's fish. Thanks a long air. Oh, he's got a bass buddy. Dang it. Spit it out. Spit it out. <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty fish, though. Not the one I was wanting. Pretty fish. Yeah, there'll be some underneath that tree limb over there. It's just easy to find this time of year. Thanks, bud. There's a little bass. Let's see if he comes for it. He's swimming around vigorously. Trying to find it. He's trying to get it. <laughs> he spit it out. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it, little guy. Little buddy. Fell victim to the crawl. Wish I'd catch a big one, but that's okay. Got a school of fish coming up on me right now. He got it right in the tongue there. Thanks, little bud. He gone. There's one. <laughs> little bass. I saw him come out from that shade and just smacked it. There's a reaction by it. He came and as soon as it landed on the water, he came and popped it. Nice. Another one on the crop pattern. It's baiting money. If I figure out where I got it from, I think I got it from Mad River Outfitters. I'll send you the link. I'll put the link in the description for this crawfish. But it's been putting on fish today. There he goes. Oh, 
I just got smoked by this nice molly right here. <laughs> you missed everything. Just because my GoPro overheated. That's how that goes. He had a bigger one to follow him out, so hopefully I can get him on. It's a nice uh, 10, 11, skinny fella. Not a big one. Good old buddy. Old fish. <laughs> he came out from that rock on the crawfish again. Looks like about the same size I just caught. Looks like a Kentucky. Yeah, he's a little Kentucky. Nice. It's probably not the greatest. Oh, there's another one with him right there. Crawfish strikes again. I'm gonna try to uh, catch his buddy real quick. He might have saw me, dang it. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that was awesome. That's so sweet. I saw him waking, and then uh, I casted it right in front of him, about probably three feet. And he came up and smoked the swimmy Jimmy. Come here, little guy. I'll let you go, man. Come here. Come here. Not a bad smolly on the swimmy Jimmy. There we go. Oh. Swimmy Jimmy, getting it done. Beautiful little small mouth. Thanks, buddy, for playing along. Thank goodness for some shade. But that was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I haven't fly fished in a year since my last post. I'll check the date on that. It's been a minute. But it was a great day. Got on a lot of fish, a lot of tiny fish, you know, but that's what I expected. I did uh, catch a few there over 10 inches, which was awesome. Felt amazing on this five weight. <laughs> a lot of fun fighting those on a five weight, but... Uh, Mostly it's just been, you know, eight, ten inches, but I still had a blast. I was just happy I caught some. Now, uh, with that swimming jimmy I use, you're supposed to have a shorter leader, and it helps the action a lot better. But just, I need as long as I can on the leader, just because I'm not that finesse with the fly rod. So I wanted a little extra string on there. That way the fish won't get as spooked or see that black line, you know. But that little creature right there is what did it for me. Just a perfect imitation of a tiny crawfish. Perfect for the shallow creek. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next adventure.